And who else to take us on a tour of this majestic mosque other than one of the locals, Kenneth De Silva, a truly Asian Malaysian. Kenneth, whose mother is of Portuguese descent and father is Chinese Sri Lankan, represents what Malaysians are all about, a myriad of cultures living in unity and respecting one another's religious beliefs. Yeah, this is my first time being in the mosque and it's very great in the mosque. It looks nice and I like the view of the mosque. The Malacca-born Kenneth loved a wide range of sports, including hockey. But when he was five years old, a day spent with his dad at the driving range saw the beginning of his love affair with golf. When I'm five years old, I just went to the driving range, just wanted to follow, and he said, come, come and try and hit. And I just went and hit. Straight away, I get my whole heart is into it in the golf. I didn't have a coach like for almost 10 years. That would all change when he was introduced by a friend to Team Golf Asia, a Malaysian-based organization representing promising young talent from all over the country. What we do is we manage them, uh, send them for training, provide whatever is needed for them through our sponsors, as well as uh, getting them to be um, at the very top uh, international level. As you know, in Malaysia, we've got uh, four, five big tournaments, which is co-sanctioned by the Asian PGA, uh, some European PGA and we've got the big CIMB tournament which is also a PGA tournament. So we are just merely helping out our Malaysian boys. Uh, they are young, they are eager to play and we feel that the young talent is uh, definitely coming up. And with that backing in place and an impressive amateur career, the 21-year-old took the bold decision to turn professional early this year. But if he had any lofty assumptions it was going to be plain sailing, that notion was sunk on the final day at qualifying school in January. Actually, at first, my dad don't want me to turn pro this year. And I said, because we have this team golf Asia, they are supporting us. And I told my dad, why not we just try it out, go for the kids' school and see what happens. I play well until the last hole. He's gone in the water again. All his good work to get into the top 40 and his ticket into the tour was undone on the last hole in the final round. Kenneth was well within the cut mark, but as he found the water twice on the 18th, a quadruple bogey cost him his card. No doubt a baptism by fire in his first year as a pro. I got nine on that hole. It's a very sad feeling and I just cried after that. Well, we tell Kenneth that this is a learning process. He's just 21. This is his first year turning to be a pro. Uh, he's got a long way ahead. Uh, this is his eighth month uh, to be a pro. And he's playing with the best players in the world currently in the Asian region. And I think uh, we would like to say to him that he has to hang on and learn a lot more from whatever he's been given. It's OK. I'll go back and try it next year. And from the looks of things, the 21-year-old still has a long way to go. While he is doing rather well on the local circuit, as well as the Asian Development Tour, his record on limited starts on the Asian Tour is not as impressive. But changes are being made to rectify this. My coach, he just changed my swing like one month ago, and I'm hitting quite good. Today I play quite solid golf, solid shot. Yeah, I'm happy with my swing. I just improved my iron shot and we finished coaching at 12 o'clock at night. A great source of motivation came in April this year when he was first reserve at the Maybank Malaysian Open. The upside on being an observer meant that he could pick up valuable lessons just by watching the big players such as Matteo Manacero, the defending champion. What do you think? Good swing. Good swing. I swing. Perfect swing. It's quite hard but what to do, we, we just can't, can't get it. It's a good motivation for me to see them play and I'm not playing. I will try my best this year to do my best and to finish well in the Asian Tour and the local circuit. Well, we wish the Malaysian, our truly Asian golfer, all the best. Good luck, Kenneth.